It is time for this week's Tech360.tv Tech Roundup, and let's kick things off with some news for Apple fanboys and fangirls out there. At the Apple Developers Meeting in San Francisco, Apple talked about a larger role for your sarcastic virtual assistant, Siri. Siri will be working even harder now on your Macs, both desktop and laptop. She will also be on Apple TV, allowing you to use your voice to search YouTube videos or your iTunes collection. Siri will also be available for app developers to use in their apps, so she might just pop up on WhatsApp soon. The new iOS 10 comes with improved text messaging functions. You will now be able to watch YouTube videos directly on iMessage without going to YouTube. There will also be more special effects in the text box and more interactive emojis. Also take note, Apple is redesigning some services you're already using like Apple News, Apple Music, and Maps to give you a better user experience. Now the part I like the most is the voicemail transcription service, but do you still use voicemail? The Electronics Gaming Conference E3 just wrapped up in Los Angeles where Microsoft unveiled a new Xbox One. The Xbox One S is 40% smaller than the original black Xbox One and will support 4K high definition video and HDR. The Xbox One S will go on sale this August. And then there is Project Scorpio, a more powerful Xbox One that will let you play in 4K and virtual reality. Speaking of Microsoft, it announced this week that it is buying LinkedIn for about $26 billion. For now, LinkedIn will remain an independent unit of Microsoft. It will keep its name, and its CEO, Jeff Wiener, will stay and report directly to Microsoft CEO, Satya Nadella. Well, since we already mentioned the Xbox One S, we'll have to talk about what's new with Sony PlayStation, of course. Sony says its much-awaited PlayStation VR headset will hit the shelves this October, and 50 games for PlayStation VR will be made available soon after. Lenovo held its tech world recently, and standing out from a slew of new product announcements are products that are not even out yet, like a foldable smartphone that can be folded to fit your wrist, or a tablet that you can fold in half and use as a microphone. Now, these are still products in the making, but it gives us a glimpse of where the future is heading. Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment below. I'm Timothy Goh. Consider yourselves informed.